Hello, bonjour, morning, and afternoon to all of you on YouTube, or if you've seen this video, oh, good morning. If you're going to work, then hopefully it'll be a good day for you. Before I start this video, I'd like to take this moment to acknowledge in the game show world another legendary figure who passed away before the age of 100. The original host of Hollywood Squares, Peter Marshall, who died last week. And one thing in common that he and Betty White and the late Bob Barker, full name Robert Barker, did, they both, they all made it before the age of 100. But besides that, they are all iconic. And as a game show fanatic himself, grew up watching Hollywood Squares, the classics, and the one with John Davidson, and a big, huge Pressure Luck fan, and mostly my favorite, Double Dare, not Double Dare 2000, regular Super Sloppy, and Family, and the revival Double Dare. I still enjoy watching game shows. Even Family Feud. I just wish they would stop blocking some of these videos that others keep on on YouTube, but they, I'm not going to get into it. But before I start this video, take a moment of silence in honor of the late and great Peter Marshall, the original host of Hollywood Squares. This video I'm posting and I just worked on is my recent trip to my home of Spotsylvania County, which is where I grew up most of my life. I'm not going to say where I'm originally from, but as my best friend, who is also on my, my YouTube channel, and I watch her videos, I'm also from Virginia. And I prefer Virginia than near the D.C or any city life. No offense of anybody who likes the city life. I personally don't like it. I like the country. The quiet, the smell of burning wood in the wintertime, the freight trains, all of these two. There's a lot of Wawa's, Royal Farms, Food Lions, near the city life. Eh, you, don't see, you don't see none of that. Even the Dominion Race Ray that is in Thornburg of the I-95 which I've been and one day I like to go visit to see a race myself so yeah I'm a big fan of Danica Patrick and she's retired and some others who are now and still racing or retired and of course the late and great Daryl Russell who passed away that's my best friend's favorite Rus uh, dri driver and another driver that she likes but besides that I like that I'm from Spotsylvania, Virginia. I grew up most of the day of my life. I was near Spotsylvania Mall, the biggest mall that it borders Fredericksburg, the city of Fredericksburg, and Spotsylvania County. That place, before the place opens, you can exercise inside the building. What I'm going to show you is most places that I go to and so is my best friend what it looks like from the inside most of the places that it has even some good things to even a post office that is near the library a small library in the mall and also show you another place in Fredericksburg Central Park Fredericksburg the biggest shopping center section that is borders the majority of Fredericksburg that is right near the Interstate 95 off exit 130A be going towards Fredericksburg not B going towards Carl Pepper I know my exits I lived there half my life I still represent my home of Spotsylvania County near Central Park there's a place called Funland you go there you can go there and do putt putt golf and go-kart racing which I like to do did it when I was younger and it doesn't matter what age you are go-kart racing is fun 
and I'll show you what it looks like from the videos that I took that I've worked on for at least three weeks now and this is my video showing what it's like inside Spotsylvania Mall and near Central Park Fredericksburg. Enjoy the video and again hope everyone doing okay take care of yourselves and best wishes to the class of 2025 seniors graduating this upcoming school year for all seniors in high school and college. And for this election coming up, I'm not going to talk about that. I don't want to talk political. Let's just have an enjoyable time. And if you hear my voice in the background, I'm describing what the places look like from my hometown of Spotsylvania County. Thank you and enjoy. And as my best would say, that's my final answer. Or in my case, in the words of the late Richard Dawson, we'll see you here on The Family Feud. Will you take me home, please, Mr. Ludden? Good night, everybody. Here I am in Central Park near Funland, walking towards Target. I was going to go to Funland, but I decided not to go to Target instead. This is one of the reasons why, I'm sorry for the cars, I prefer being here, not near DC. It is a you know what hole. But yes, just killing some time visiting Central Park, as you can see. Gentry place I've never been to before. Hmm. Silver Professional Park. How much bank did that silver basket case has? Yep, yeah, well, not too far from Target right now, so don't come into my videos only really when I can. One of these days, one of these days, next time or sooner or later, I have got to come to Funland and get on some of these rides, either the putt putt golf, or that little damn thing that I'm scared of the heck out of me, or the freaking shove it down go kart racing. Seen there? Do I really want to go kart go kart racing? Yes, indeed. Grand Theft Auto, someone. I don't care. Anybody else want to go 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 kart racing? Please sign up. I do remember the last time I was over here. Hmm. Last time I was over here, I fed one of the one of these geese, and almost one of them bit my damn hand. And I was with my former friend C A R I over here. That's what I did it. And of course, the yeah, Outback Steakhouse still there. Which oh my god, I'm gonna go visit with that place one day. I will go the next time I'm visiting home. I wonder if they ever clean this water here. But yeah, realize. Oh yeah, I remember this. I remember this section. But there's one day sure. Watch out for these little fools. Mess with them, ah, ah, your ass. Okay. If you see where that property available sign is across this big field, 
that's where the days in Fredericksburg of going near the Sponsy Mall over here used to be long time ago at another place called America's Best Value Inn two hotels no longer here except for this one the Econa Lodge which used to be formerly Super 8 but yeah days in used to be there America's Best Value Inn now it's all trees and nothing except for the, except for the Econa Lodge there you go. Okay, this store here, Route 21. I came here back in earlier the year. My, uh, my best friend got me a Pokemon shirt, which I still have and I still like, and I'm gonna wear again because, like I said, I've been losing weight. That just closed in the nail, nail salon place. It closed not too long ago. I wonder why met somebody who was a big fan of game shows like her and I are now down here where the margarita and bar and grill Mexican restaurant this is the famous timeline of Spotsylvania County Virginia established in the 1600s way before I was born 1608 in the 1700s yeah, of course, that's me. Sorry. 1800s. Sponsor van kind of reached 13,000 over 13,000. Oh, yeah. A place called home. Yeah, I agree. Definitely a place called home. 1900s. The year my grandfather was born, 1920. May he rest in peace. The 1950s, both my parents was born. Same year, different months. Sponsor Bay Mall opens 1980, which turns four decades old. Almost within the year I was born. And look at this. I heard that guy, Danny McBride, went to Cortland, 1995. And he's famous now. And then we reached the 2,000, 20 hundreds. Population almost over 91,000. And this is where the mall formerly sponsored into the new name, the Village Sponsored Town Center. And of course, the 300th anniversary. And there you go, the timeline of Sponsored County. Okay, well, this is one of the places that me and Bestie goes by. Custom, and yeah, where she put that little funny thing on my head. You got the Kid Zone, which is the coolest one I've ever seen. JC Penny, never been there, and I don't think I will ever want to. And of course, the biggest United States of America flag I've ever seen. Whoever did this, nice job. Really, I do like it. And also another place, Minnesota. I've never been there a few times, and there's Build a Bear. Other than that, it's still kind of cool though. Just taking a stroll into the mall a little bit. Some places that I normally go to, and some I'm trying to do without no interruptions or noise in the background. Crocs. And Spencer's Spencer's okay I don't I never wear a cross before and I don't think I want to plan on wearing them I know I see a lot of people wearing them in the hospitals there goes Victoria's Secret oh yeah the pink section breast cares on wearing this and also then the pink theme not for Barbie Going pink by Victoria's Secret. Yes, it is a store. And you got Bath and Body Works, which I'm gonna work on that stuff later. Christmas shop is already done, but I'm trying to think what I'm gonna get for my mom for Christmas. And this place called Box Lunch. Another place that I go a few times with my bestie. 
they got some collectors there, which I see a lot of people go to conventions and get that stuff for like um, Power Rangers. And that is where you got more Deadpool and Wolverine. So that's box lunch there. Down there, this is where the main enter exit is in Dick Sporting Goods and GS and GNC. So, oh yeah, this mall in Sponsor Van, this borders on the county of Sponsor Van, sure as hell beats Beltway Plaza and Greenbelt any day. And that is the truth. Coming down towards the food court here in Sponsor Van Town Center. See what the, this Windsor store used to be Hallmark Gold Crown store. I don't know when they left this place, when they're in business, but yeah, that used to be the Hallmark area, and I went there a few times before in the past. And here you are the food court, Chick fil A. I still like the chicken sandwiches. Dairy Queen's down here, quiet section. Gets a lot busy in the lunchtime. Under the net. Oh, yeah. Get your steakhouse there. A couple of other places. In cuisine, stir fry. The TV there, which sometimes they show in the news. Or the price is right, which I prefer the price is right. But yeah, it's the food court. Kind of cool, isn't it? Okay. Last stop. The store that one of my roommates used to go to. This place. The Tarot Store. T O R I D. I would go in there, but unless I got a lady with a curvy body looking. JD Sports. Yeah. What am I going there for? The only sports I like is basketball. They got that, but mm, they got cool stuff. Not with my time. American Eagle outfits. So yeah, all of this it is what it is in the sponsor man mall. If I had a lot of money, I shop here. I would, in a heartbeat. I'm about to leave. Head out. There's Claire's, the place, the, another place that my best friend goes. And also where I got her gift. And she still has still today. Hello, Claire's. All right. Sports Kingdom. Yeah, they got a whole lot of sports in there. B-ball jam, football, basketball, hockey, soccer. Yeah, they got all of it. All right, Guitar Center, oh yeah. The Guitar Center is the place to go and the music. About to head out the door, enjoying the rest of my time. This is one reason why I come home, just to get the hell away from the city. I'm a country person, always will be. Jimmy! Oh yeah, long live Jimmy. Well, 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 look what we got here, a, a little <laughs> Rammy. Jeez. No, it's not a whammy. It's an orange dragon. Uh, part dragon, part orange. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> and we got over here a one that looks like a whammy. Yeah, that's a. Uh, no, that's Darumaka. Dramanitan's the evolution. I know, but it still looks like a whammy to me. Mm. Well, yeah, that was the entire point of me showing it to you. <laughs> of course. Thank you for telling me that. Okay. New apartment complex. I don't know how much they're going here near Sponsorway Mall. Oh, and just to let you know, this is that section here. This mall over here borders two centers. It borders City of Fredericksburg and Sponsorvan County. This section where I'm at right now, this will be the City of Fredericksburg. Over there, a little far right, will be Sponsorvan County. If you pass where that light is at, where the sign says Town Center, that's Sponsorvan. Over here where that Burger King and the hotel is, City of Fredericksburg. I don't know how, but it's confusing. Yeah. 
anybody thinks Ryan get this crab is an idiot, okay? Really? Kentucky Fried Chicken? Really? Oh my fucking goodness. Talking about the Colonel. There's the damn Colonel! There's a video that I did when I was visiting home in Spotsylvania County at Spotsylvania Town Center, formerly Spotsylvania Mall, off I-95 going towards Richmond, exit 130. And if you want to try and figure out where they're located, you'll have to find the big, huge, tall sign that says Central Park Fredericksburg that is across the street from the mall. And it's going on Route 3. And if you know what I'm talking about, then you know that you are definitely are within the proximity, the proximity of City of Fredericksburg. Again, that mall, that mall borders two areas: City of Fredericksburg, Spotsylvania County. As a bonus, before I leave, show you where, just near the countryside, the Harbor Building going towards Brock Road in the countryside that is near Spotsylvania Village area. That I shot when I went there. This place called Merchant Pavilion. It's a big, huge circle around the area that I did. It's one of the reasons why I one like the quiet area. Two, I like the where you hear a lot of the freight trains going by. And three, unlike the city life, no offense, but anyway, lots of loud noises. Yeah, uh, when it comes to autumn season and it's about to hit winter, you start splitting the wood. And you get in your fire, if you have a wood stove, like I did growing up at the house that I used to live in, you heat the whole house up. I know it dies up, dies down in the morning time, but when it's winter time or when it's about to get cold, it heats the house up when you start the wood stove. And that brings back memories. And I would still do it today if I lived in the country. Me, I prefer the country life. City life, no offense. I just don't like the loud noises. But above all, here's the here's a bonus video of the Spotsylvania Merchant Pavilion. Hoping you enjoyed the video. Good luck to everyone. Starting school this year. As for the football season, it starts on the second Sunday of next month for the NFL. Basketball in October. This is Ultra Sonic saying ciao for now. Reptile.